Dr. Destunis has already looked at your mammogram and ultrasound, as you know. There's an area of calcifications in your breast that she actually wants to take a tissue sample of. This biopsy procedure has saved us because since we've started using it in 1992, we have been able to locate things that we cannot feel with our hands, we cannot find with ultrasound, and we've been able to biopsy them accurately and save women surgical procedure. Underneath you is an x-ray machine and it works with the computer here behind me. What we're going to do is take some pictures, locate the area that she's looking at, do some measurements. The computer is going to tell the doctor exactly where to place the needle. So if a patient comes in with a mammogram that has an abnormality in it that requires a biopsy, and it could be a mass or it could be microcalcifications, which are little white dots that show up on mammograms, and if those abnormalities are not found on ultrasound or with other methods, then we have to bring the patient here and perform a biopsy. The most uncomfortable part for most patients tends to be the position on the table. It arches your back in such a way so that your breast falls more through the hole. If you're really uncomfortable under your rib and whatnot, I want you to let me know because we, once we get you in position, we're not going to be able to move you that much. So you'll be in compression, not as tight as a mammogram, it's an open biopsy window so that we can get our biopsy needle into the breast. This computer has the ability to give us the coordinates of where the lesion is. It transfers the coordinates over to the table and we're able to use a biopsy device after we numb up the skin with Novocaine, make a little incision, place our needle biopsy guide through and sample the area in question. Most patients find the position a little uncomfortable, you know, it's, you're on your stomach for 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes. And the second thing is the lidocaine. When we do apply local anesthetic, it does burn. The patients do say that's a little uncomfortable. And sometimes the needle biopsy itself, no matter how much local anesthesia we give, they still do feel us working in the breast. We're going to go really fast and we're going to be taking several samples. Are you feeling anything at all? No. Okay, great. Most patients though say the pain issues is minimal and they do just fine with the procedure. Everything looks good here, you're not bleeding at all, and we're gonna stop right here and we're gonna hold a little pressure and remove the little samples, x-ray them, make sure we have the calcium that we need. And then the patient is able to go home or go back to work the same day because it's the needle biopsy procedure. I'm going to ask you to take this sheet home. This is all of the aftercare instructions that we talked about. In the middle of the body of the letter, you'll find Dr. Destunis's number after hours. The tissue goes to the pathology department, and we get the report usually within 24 to 48 hours. And then I call the patient with the results. If the patient's results are cancerous or suspicious, then we may ha have to have, obviously, a surgeon get involved, and the patient will go on to a definitive surgical procedure. The surgeon gets our pathology results and they're able to plan out the procedure more effectively. The patient has the right surgery first, meaning if I find a cancer in a patient, then that patient can go on and discuss with the surgeon right off the bat, I need, you know, what do I need, a lumpectomy, we're going to remove some lymph nodes. They have one step surgical procedure as opposed to a multi-step surgical procedure. So it really helps the patient and it's made just our life a world easier to be able to diagnose these abnormalities that we're detecting and uh, you know really take care of the patient effectively.